hello lovelies you're welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for coming back in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use the mesh net fabric in making this round up round or gathered to band cap which has this rainbow design attached to it if you are new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by please do well to subscribe to our youtube channel and also do well to click on the bell icon to get notified whenever new tutorials are uploaded all our other subscribers who have been following us who have been liking who have been commenting thank you so much the materials used for this tutorial include mesh net fabric of which one yard will be more than enough your scissors your measuring tape your matching color of thread and needle your gum and then your applics for embellishment this design which you are working on has the to band base which has the band and the base i'm using mesh net fabric and then it is a round band to band cap with the gathered or pleated to band base and the design attached to it is a it's a bow design but then it's different from the normal bow design which you know because the edges are round in shape before now i've cut out my fabric so i'll go ahead to state each of the fabrics and the measurements that are required now starting the tutorial i have the band for my cap here and the measurement i'm using is 4.5 inches for the width by 21.5 inches for the head circumference the reason why i'm using 21.5 inches is because the mesh net fabric is very stretchy and it tends to stretch a lot so that's why i'm using 21.5 inches by 4.5 inches now coming over to the fabric for the base i have my fabric here i'm using 20 inches for the width and then 25 inches for the length which is the head circumference i'm using 25 inches by 20 inches this is to enable me have a tuban cap with a backdrop effect now moving on to the fabric for the design i have three different pieces of fabric here of which you can decide to use more or use less now the measurement for each piece of fabric is 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches cut out as many times as you want and so that is it for the materials and their measurements now starting the tuban um, cap I have my tuban base here and remember it's a gathered or pleated tuban cap so I've gone ahead to measure my fabric and then rule it out and I'm using 1.5 inches as the measurement okay as the measurement of the interval I've marked out my fabric and I've ruled it out now when it comes to ruling it out use your tape to measure each point or better still get a ruler that has the same measurement as the width that you want to use for the interval okay so that is what i did and i went ahead to place my ruler because the width is 1.5 inches got my pen and i marked it from one end of the fabric to the other end just like that in that order till i've completely marked my fabric now i'm going to get this on my sewing machine and i'm going to be sewing i will start sewing along each marked line one after the other until i get to the end now this is my fabric already sewn each marked line have been sewn from one side of the fabric to the other side and remember your marked line should be on the wrong side of your fabric now make a notch at the middle of your tuban fabric as you have seen it as you have seen it on mine then i'll get the fabric for the band also get your scissors and fold your fabric into two and then go ahead to make a notch at the middle of the fabric for the band thereafter you get your fabric you fold it into two equal halves with the wrong side inside and the fan side outside and place on one end of your tuban cap please ensure that the middle of the tuban cap that is the middle of the band and the base which you notched earlier align together this is very important so as to get the backdrop effect now you see me pinning the band and the base together so as to join both of them together then i'll place this on my sewing machine and so from one end of the fabric to the other end right here i have my fabric already so you can see my band that is the wrong side and then this is the fine side 
I will now go ahead to fold my fabric into two equal halves to form the cap and then I will get this on my sewing machine and start sewing from the band down to the base. Please, you first sew down on the band, then you take, adjust it, sew on the band, go straight to the other side before you sew down to the very end. So, right here, I have my two band cap already sewn. So, this is it. And at this point, you can now get it to your weaving machine and then weave around these edges. Okay? So, let's assume that that is done. Next, we are going to be doing that we are going to be making a running stitch on the tuban cap and for that we'll be needing a matching color of thread as well as a needle so my for my running stitch i have my needle and thread here and then i will start from this part immediately after the band down to this end so from this end down to this end so i'll just start by passing my needle and thread in and out from one end until i get to the end of the fabric and then I'll secure my thread and cut off the excess thread. So this is it. I'm done with the wrong side. Now I'll flip this inside out to the fine side. And then we're going to be creating the gathers at the middle of the cap. So this is it. And I have the middle right here. I'll open it up this way. I'll get my needle and thread, and then I'll start passing it from the wrong side of the car. And then I'll pass it upwards. I'll fold this first split, this part here, into two. Pass my needle and thread through it. Go ahead to fold the second part into two. Pass my needle and thread through it. Okay, the middle part in that order. That's how I'll keep folding the fabric into two and I'll pass my needle and thread through it until I get to this very end and then I'll secure my thread and cut off the excess thread. So this is it and then I'll go ahead to secure it. So as soon as all that is done, I have my gathered and pleated to band cap here. This is the front view and then this is the back view. So I'll set this aside while we work on the design to be added. Now coming over to my design, I have three pieces of fabric right here. The measurement for each piece of fabric is 6.5 by 6.5 inches. Now I'm going to be illustrating how to get the design on a plain piece of paper and from there I'll go ahead to transfer it on my fabric. Now this is my paper, this is 6.5 by 6.5 inches. I'll go ahead to fold it into two equal halves as you see me doing. And then at one edge, I'm now going to draw a curve out this way. Okay, I'm using freehand, I didn't really take measurements. So I have my curve out this way, and then I'll fold it into another two, making it four parts now. I'll get my scissors and then cut it off along that curve shape that I drew earlier, okay? And so when I open it, this is what I get, okay? This is the shape I get. Now I will get my fabric, I'll place this on my fabric and then trace it out. Okay, I'm going to trace that shape out on my fabric and then so right here I have my pattern and I have my fabrics all cut out according to the shape of the pattern. So this is how it looks like. So what I'll be doing next is that 
I'll be placing each fabric on the other as you see me do right now. And we are going to be creating the design by making a bow. Okay? So I will come over to this point and then pleat the, across the middle of my fabric. Like I'm trying to create a bow design. So this is it. I'll take it again. I'll be pleating across the middle of my fabric. So this is it. And then I'll get my needle and thread and then pass it through to tack it down together. So after tacking through the middle of my design, this is how it turns out to be and I have it this way. I'm going to get my tuban cap and we're going to be adding the design down to the tuban cap. Right here, I have my tuban cap on my dummy head, as you can see. So I'll get my design and then place it. Okay, I'm placing it on top of my tuban cap at the side. So you decide wherever you want it to be. And then I'll go back and use my needle and thread to tack this down. At this point, I've gone back to tack down the design on my cap at the point where I want it to be. So this is how it looks like. You can decide to leave this plain this way or further embellish it using any accessory of your choice and i have my stones here i have my gum i use it to embellish it just apply gum on your stones on your fabric and place your stones right there i also have this applique here which i'll use to embellish the middle part after applying my gum on it so i'm going to go back to add my accessories and as soon as I'm done I'll place on my dummy head to show us the final outfit. As soon as I'm done with embellishment this is what I get can see how beautiful it turned out to be and with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching please if you are here to subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to do so please like please share and please leave a comment in the comment section also do well to follow us on our social media platforms on facebook and on instagram as jenny concept until our next tutorial bye